You guys hear me? Yes, teacher. Uh, were you able to to answer the questions? I mean, have you been connected? Yes. Yes. Because I lost connection and I had to leave the conference and come back again. No, we 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 have the connection. Okay, so you think you guys didn't have any problems? Yes. No. Okay, so it has to be me. Okay, thanks. Okay. Yes. But this is strange. Why? It, it gives you a, an error or why? Yeah, it was giving me a few errors, but I don't know, I don't know why. Let, let, me, let me see if I can join another group. I'll be back. Okay. I will be stressful. Stressful. Stressed. Stressed. Stress. Yeah, stressful is something that causes for you to be stressed. So you can say uh, traffic is very stressful. Mm -hmm. So yes. you're stressed. Okay. Mm -hmm. Teacher, do you have the, the picture? Yes, I, I send it to the chat. It's but I, because I don't have a cell phone right now. <laughs> oh, okay, hold on. Marcel is uh, Marcelo is in the coaster teacher. Is who? He's in the coaster. Oh, He's that was him. <laughs> He's on oh. the coaster. Oh, so he was Near the to one. My oh, Near so okay. So he was the one saying pasaje en mano. <laughs> <laughs> you see the paper? Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Let me take a picture. Uh huh. Okay. Thank you. All right. Letter, letter number eight. Number <laughs> yes. <laughs> it could be nice. Yeah. Adrian and Freddie. Hi, teacher. Hi, teacher. How's everything? Well, we finished. I, I see you guys were laughing like you were telling jokes. <laughs> oh, it's because. Uh, Adrian is thinking about her. Oh, sorry, her his vacation. Oh, because <laughs> if the weather is nice tomorrow, I will be on. I will go to the beach. Good, good. That's the answer of Adrian. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's good. So, that, that's a very good yeah. example. Yeah, but only, <laughs> but only for example. <laughs> mm, I don't think so. <laughs> Maybe okay. you want to go to the Tunco Beach or Costa del Sol. <laughs> you guys have vacation in December? No, in my case. Um, I have only now. 24th and 25th. Okay. Yeah, just that days. Okay. Uh, so, so the uh -huh. 26th of December, you guys go to work normally. Yeah. Yes, normally. And the same thing happens with New Year's. You rest the first, but you go back to work on the second. Exactly. Yeah. All right. With Good. a Hanover. <laughs> Shaking. <laughs> right. Especially if you didn't sleep well. <laughs> You know, like it, 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 but but that's what New Year's and Christmas is for. You know, like it, it happens only once a year, so people take advantage of the of the of the event. Yes, that's good. All right, so let's return to the main session. Okay. Okay. See you. Later. Thank you, Adrian.
teacher when is our last class? Uh, Thursday. This coming Sorry? Thursday. This coming Thursday. Okay. Thank you. Uh, November 7th. Okay. Thank you. All right. Everybody's back in the main session. Okay. Hello. Okay. Uh, were you able to finish all the exercises? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Okay. So um, let's say your little brother or your little sister or your little son, your little daughter, they ask you and they say, look, I have homework. The topic is first conditional. How would you explain that to your little one? It's, a, it's a, a combination about two structures. Uh -huh. uh, of sentence. For what example, structures? simple present and simple future. Uh-huh. Okay. Let me to ask my sister teacher. Okay, so we're talking about two different structures, simple present and simple future. Um, can you have two positives or two negatives, or can you have a combination of both? You, you have a combination, combination of both. No, a combination of both. Right. So you can go example, positive, this, positive. Uh-huh. Yes, Rodrigo. I mean, Ricardo. No. Positive, negative, negative, positive. Or positive, positive, negative, negative. Or negative, negative, negative. Right, right. Okay, so any questions with the first conditional? Oh. No? Oh, I got it. Okay, now let me ask you, what is the second conditional? So we said that the first conditional uh, is something that you I do hope. now with a result in the future. The last simple uh, past, Sometimes simple past, and um, uh, yes, Maribel. No, no good, good is oh my god, it's a possibility. I know, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> good with good <laughs> with good teacher. Okay, good. can some, can, some, can somebody help? Well, the, the opposite teacher, the opposite of will is good. Uh, not exactly the opposite, um, but you can say that they go together somehow, but they're not exactly the same, and they're not opposites either. Mm -hmm. So, um, can someone else help, Maribel? What is the second conditional? I could lose. It's a probability, I think, because it's, it's simple pass to a possibility. Okay, so, uh, so Maribel is mentioning the simple past. She's right. Um, when we use the simple past tense and the information is positive, what is the form of the verb? Somebody. Simple past. Okay, so if I'm using the simple past tense and the information is positive, what is the form of the verb? Past is in past. Right, the verb is in past. Remember regulars and irregulars? Yes. Yeah. Okay, so it doesn't matter if it's regular or irregular, the form of the verb is in past. Now, what happens when the information is negative? The auxiliary did. Didn't. Mm -hmm. Okay. What happens to the verb? The base form. Is it in the base form. Base form. Okay, very the good. Now, when you use the second conditional, you are talking about something that is not real something that is not true at the time of speaking. But for you to say that, you need to use the simple past tense. You see the document? 
No, no, not teacher. Okay, hold on. Do you see it now? Not yet. A part of, 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 of. You don't see it? Yes. 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 Yeah, I, I see. see. Yeah. Now I see. Now I see. Okay. So what's the, the complement of the of the second page? Of, of the page? Second conditional. Right. Now, when do we use the second conditional? We use the second conditional to talk about things that are not true. Look at the first one. If I went to the gym, I would lose weight. Mm -hmm. What is the message in that sentence? Oh, I'll regret. Mm. If you that action. It's an advice. It's an advice. It's a... It's a, it's a, it's a a desire. A wish. With a positive condition. Okay, some of your answers are good. Someone said a desire, someone says a wish. If I went to the gym, I would lose weight. So the message here, the message here, let me ask you this. Does this person go to the gym? No. No, they don't. No. They don't. Si yo fuera al gimnasio. Look at the second it's one. It's on the probability. Is if uh, is, is you a vegetables. you ate vegetables. vegetables. Does this person eat vegetables? No. No. No, he doesn't. No, he doesn't. No, doesn't. If I didn't have a motorcycle, do I have a motorcycle? Yes. 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 No. yes. Yes, I do. Very yes, good. <laughs> now look at the other one. If she didn't know Excel, does she know Excel? Yes. 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 She does. Yes. Yes. She does. Yes. Yes. She does. Yes. Yes. Okay. I'm going to take a picture of this document. I'm going to send it to you, and this is going to be the first activity we're going to be doing tomorrow. Okay. okay. Got it. Thank okay. you very much. Thanks for your time. And I'll be seeing you tomorrow, you same too. place, same time. Have a okay. good night. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.